Hello, it is Topical Tuesday, June 29th, 2021. Steve Cypress here, and not a lot of business lesson other than if you're here in the United States, this is the land of freedom. Of course, with freedom comes responsibility. So this is the land of personal responsibility and personal freedom, which means it's the land of entrepreneurship. Hopefully you are taking advantage of it. And as if we need more proof, what a great country this is. I see in the news uh, all over this, this weekend, I think it happened last weekend, all kinds of hubbub about uh, an Olympic qualifying, the uh, hammer toss, the women's hammer toss. Now, first of all, uh, what do you mean the women's hammer toss? Like, aren't there men competing with the women? In it? Ah, it's another topic, I digress. But uh, women, uh, the woman that came in third place for the U.S. for the Olympic trial uh, decided she does not like, she's triggered by hearing the national anthem. And she felt that she was tricked into going out in public and hearing it instead of going into the locker room and and being depressed that we live in such a great country. And uh, and people are squawking about this. Oh, she's she could be kicked off the team and she's uh, in, ungrateful and she should love America. And, what? Says, what? Says who? She's out there because she can throw the hammer. Now, by the way, the hammer toss, the hammer throw, like, who named that thing? It's not a hammer, it's a ball. There's like a a metal ball that for the men weighs like twice as much as for the women. Oh, wait, no, sorry. What am I talking about? Men and women are the same. There's no difference between the two. There's no difference at all. Men, women, 82 other genders. Why do we have twice as much weight for the men as the women? But again, I digress. How do uh, communist, liberal, progressive, uh, liberal losers even watch the Olympics? Uh, and still think that there's no difference between men and women. Uh, but anyway, uh, back to the point. Like, I think it's awesome. So all these yeehaws are like, wow, it sucks. She should be kicked off the team. She should be re She should be made to stand there with her hand over her. This is the greatest country in the world. Like, if she was an athlete in China and she tried that crap... Uh, she might not even make it to the locker room before she would mysteriously disappear, never to be seen from again. Uh, when you watch, I haven't watched them for years, but if you watch the Olympics and you will see athletes, I'm guessing you won't see a lot of protests from athletes on the podium or anywhere else from pretty much anyone but from the U.S. Freedom of speech, the right to protest, like this is our First Amendment, this is our constitutional American rights, uh, which you just don't get in a lot of other places. So I know people like to say, oh, we're one big happy family in the world and one big global this and that and whatever. You know what I have to say to that? USA, USA, and it's morons, uh, 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 you know, brainwashed kids like this. I mean, we had Colin Kaepernick, another complete moron with an IQ less than his, the weight of like one pinky finger, uh, you know, when he got, was such a horrendously bad performer on the field that he lost the starting job and he therefore refused to stand with the rest of the team and just sat on the bench pouting. And then someone got to him and said, hey, turn that into a, as if you'd purposely, like take a knee, like protest, like what, now that you're washed up as a useless football player, the guy's making more money and having a better career than he ever did as an athlete making millions from another communist uh, company, Nike, who is, is you know, we're, we're a Chinese communist uh, 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 company. Like all this BS and nonsense is just proof of how much freedom we have in the US. I mean, you try this stuff in North Korea, get up on the podium and say, I don't like Kim Dung, Jung, Un, whatever, whoever the leader is. Like in China, I don't like the leader. I don't like the country. I want to disgrace the flag. I want to, you know, I have a feeling I won't be watching it, but if you watch the Olympics, you'd be seeing that. I'm sure someone's going to get up there and do, not this one. I mean, this one, she came in third in the trial. You think she's going to come anywhere near the podium in the, like, oh, what if she does that in the actual Olympics? She came in third in the U.S. trial. And by the way, the U.S., in case you haven't noticed, is not the number one team in the world in these kind of power events. Uh, maybe somebody will, 
or win a medal from the U.S. or something, but whoever finished third uh, is not likely to beat the Eastern European brutes. It'll be up there throwing the, quote, hammer, which looks nothing like a hammer. Who named it that? Uh, uh, let me know, by the way. Maybe it's, uh, it's from some mispronunciation of some word that in some other language uh, means ball, heavy ball on a chain. And so that's like the, the hammer. And so some American and typical American mispronunciation said, oh, you mean hammer, and suddenly became known as the hammer? I digress again. Anyway, that'll do it. I'm digressing too much uh, in my rant here about how great the U.S. is that allows this kind of stupidity and nonsense that you can actually compete in the name of your country and disrespect your country at the same time. Try that in communist China, my friend, uh, off with your head, is all I have to say. So these idiots who hate America or hate the anthem or hate themselves or whatever it is, uh, continue to prove what they think they're protesting against. They're protesting what a crappy country and we're racist and we're systemically horrible or whatever. We're actually systemically awesome because you're allowed to do that. And that's it for Topical Tuesday. So take advantage is the bottom line for business owners. Take advantage of the amazing freedom you have here in the U.S. Start more businesses, make more business deals, run your own life, determine your own present and your own future. Go for it. USA. Catch you tomorrow on World Wide Web Wednesday over and out. Bye-bye.